This is a very inefficient process, it seems, but that's okay. All right, we've got that falling in. Oh, they fall out of sequence. The the center ones come too quickly. Every second one is a fail. Uh oh, no, no, no. no. What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today in Infinifactory, and after the last video, it seems like you guys really liked this series, which is good, because I really enjoy making puzzles for our alien overlords. When life gives you lemons, make puzzles for your alien overlords. So we beat the whole Proving Grounds, it was pretty simple, I think there were just some training puzzles, and, uh, and so now we're gonna get into, I think, some more complicated products we have to make here, I'm not really sure, but, uh, let's get right into this first puzzle. Oh, a sensor block, fantastic, sensor, sensor, and pusher and conduit. Okay, so it's like a sensor block and it'll talk through the conduit to the pusher blocks. Okay, gotcha. Uh, where are we building here? Oh, I see, I see. Gotcha, gotcha. They get stuck against this wall. I, okay, this is easy mode. Okay, so all we gotta do is just... This isn't really that difficult of a puzzle. We just gotta make some... Oops, conveyors. Uh, we'll just... Here we go. Oh, okay. No, that's that's good. We're doing, we're doing really good so far, guys. Okay, and then uh, we just need to put our sensors here. And a pusher. I, I don't even think we need conduit. Real. Oh yeah, we do. Okay, so six. That's a downward sensor, right? Downward. Perfect. Uh, seven. Conduit. Okay, good. And then uh, conduit into the eight slot. And perfect. All right, so this should be it. Input right up to max. Always need that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I think there's a way to do this faster. Hold on. Hold on, I think we can do this, and we can do a second one. We're not going to get a good block score here, but I think if we do... There we go. We'll push two at a time, because they're all jammed so close together. I don't know if that actually makes a difference or not. It probably doesn't. Whatever, you know what? Let's just, let's just beat it. There we go. Six, five, four. Perfect. Footprint score, good. Yeah, cycle score. See, that's how you get the, the best cycle score, but obviously not the best block score. Using a little too many blocks there. That's okay. Okay, that's pretty simple stuff. So we got the pusher. Unlocked all three blocks. Fantastic. Oh, and that's all we have. Okay, so we got four more puzzles in this section. Um, should be... I mean, if they're all that easy, this should be pretty easy. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm not... What? Uh, another another depressed person here. Oh, wow. Uh-oh. Oh, I almost fell there. What is that? This must be some sort of shipyard. It's amazing. At least that person was optimistic. I mean, they were they were very enthusiastic about making puzzles for the alien overlords. They were just marveling at the opportunity to see all these amazing stars and these ships and uh, float above the clouds. I mean, see, it's opportunities, guys. Opportunities. Life doesn't give you problems. It just gives you opportunities. All right, we're gonna... I think this one... I'm assuming it just it's one type of block okay so I think we just have to do this because it's three okay and then they just need to go to three separate lines like this I mean this is probably not very efficient for the block score because you know we're gonna we, we could separate them a little bit closer to this I guess but whatever let's just this is because this is just a lot of extra conveyor Okay, and then when they get to the end, um, we put a sensor down. So, whoops, we need a need a block here. We need a sensor. Okay, and then we just need three pushers, I think. Okay, so hold on. Let's just put a conduit piece. Uh, whoops, there we go. Excellent. And uh, only this one's connected. Okay, hold on. We'll just do this. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Okay, that should that should be it, I think. Crank up the input rate. Again, not efficient for the block score. Yeah, perfect. Look, separates three of them. Separates three. Separates three. Fantastic. Love it. This is actually a really simple solution. Okay, footprint score again. Yeah, right on that. Most people probably did the same thing. I think these people are definitely the ones who made the single line come out and then split way further. Block score, pretty good stuff. Yeah, again, you know, we could have done all this. Whatever. We're, maybe if uh, we beat the whole game, we'll go back and look at making solutions that are awesome. But uh, we'll see. Shuttle propulsion units. 
gonna be the next one. These puzzles are actually, they're pretty easy. I haven't had to weld anything or build any products yet. It's just been like, here, separate these blocks apart. Okay, here we go. This looks, this looks like we actually have to combine some stuff. Oh, you, you, uh, you, you done goofed, bud. What, yeah, what's your failure log? I can't believe I'm here. See? On another planet. Another enthusiastic Aliens. person. This is amazing, Claudia. Amazing! I can't get over it. The crash at Roswell. The lights over Lubbock. The sightings in Washington, D.C. All the way back to ancient times. Jerusalem and Rome. It was them. See? Another enthusiastic individual. Again, guys, the theme for today's episode... I know everyone was depressed after last episode saying, Wow, enslaved for aliens. But clearly in the second chapter, people have gotten to the point where of, of this this higher power where they've realized you know what this is actually pretty cool stuff modern alien planet it's exciting building factories for aliens isn't as bad as it would seem all right so this we need a three and a two i think we got to weld them i'm um, pretty sure they just they just come out of here right yeah okay so they just they just come out of there so all we got to do is just separate it a three and a two line so we'll just um we'll just do that like this okay uh oh, hold on Nope, nope. Screwed up. Okay, this is sometimes this is difficult to place. There we go. So there's all the pistons we need. And we'll just grab this like so. Okay, so that's five. Now we're gonna have to weld them when they get to the end here. So I think this one we can just do like this. Uh, we can probably use an overhead welder, but I think this should work. Right, so they'll come off there and get welded, and then we'll do another set. This is probably not very efficient for the block score. There's probably probably better ways to do this. Actually, we can this one we can just go like this. Hold on. This will this will save us some block score. We can move the welders up. Okay, good. So that works. And then we've got to go the 3's got to go over and the 2's got to go under. Okay, so the 2 going under, that's easy enough. We just go down like that. Um I think that's too much. I think we go back here actually. And then the 3 will just extend this over drop it down there and then go like this perfect oh no nope. crank up the cycle rate there we go easy mode perfect it's going good going good uh looks like uh, we're getting a, a taller and taller stack here it might yeah oh this, okay i saw that coming it was gonna it's gonna force a block off here so that's okay we'll just build the handy dandy block stopper and now it'll just stop them from coming out of this container when, uh... Perfect. That's good. Excellent. Is that one gonna work? Oh, what? Okay. Um... Gotta go like this. So this one's probably wrong, too. Probably gotta go like that. Alright. Try this again. Go and push in piston, done. Check, weld, weld, excellent. Master of all factories here. Perfect, look at that. Look at the efficiency. Aliens don't even know what to hit them. All right, we can, we can crank this one up. It's a little bit slower. Ooh, ooh, I did really good on the cycles, but uh, apparently a lot, lot of... Uh, a lot of footprint and a lot of blocks definitely too many blocks that's okay you know we'll just go on to the next puzzle it's not a big deal i'm assuming though once we get into these later puzzles things are going to start getting a little bit more difficult but these these puzzles are still not that bad i think they're just trying to slowly work into the logic components um you know and and once we get into some complicated puzzles there's gonna be a lot of stuff to set up which i think you know we might get to the point where one puzzle actually takes a whole episode but for now these are definitely easy easy mode um all right. Okay. So in this one, um, seems to be making one product that we're splitting into two locations. Okay. That's simple enough. And, uh, I'm assuming that means that that one comes out twice as often as this one, right? Yeah. Okay. So this one needs to be split into two, um, simple enough to do. So we can just go like this right off the bat. One, two, uh, put a sensor here like this and then some pistons pistons here we go okay so this one's gotten split into two lines pretty simple stuff right one two boom one two boom won't get jammed excellent 
And one line can go here, and one line can go... Oh, shoot. How are we going to get this one over that one? Okay, that'll be, that'll be another problem. Okay, so we've got two lines of that and one line of this. Good stuff. We don't have any way to move blocks up, I don't think. So we've got to basically shimmy them down and uh, and just build this assembly floating over the air. Okay, so this is going to go down to... This is a really sketchy maneuver here. Okay, that, that looks good. And then this one can go across. And uh, like that. Okay, and there we go. And then we just need to sort of like weld them all here, right? Somehow, are they even going to... They're probably not even going to show up at the same time. Let's see what happens here. No, see, that one's pushing way too quickly. So this one, we'll just, uh, we'll time this one again. We can set up some timing, whoops, some timing loops here. Again, probably not the best way to do this for block score, but you know what? We're just going for a success today. Aliens don't really, uh, I mean, I guess they want it more efficiently, but, you know, they abducted me, so they get what they get. Okay, that one, a little bit further. Hopefully this isn't too much. Because that adds two blocks every time, and uh, and I'm hoping this is not just a, it's a one block gap. Of course it is. Okay, so this is actually, this will actually work really well. So here's what we're going to do now. We're going to weld all this together somehow. We can't weld facing up. Okay. So we've got to weld, we've got to weld this way. Okay. Perfect, and then we'll have this block on the far end uh, trigger it or something. We'll have one of the blocks trigger it. Okay, so that welds it no problem, which is good. This block has to be the last one to come in, because then we'll use this one as the trigger block. And when this one triggers, it'll just push everything out of the way. So we can put one here, uh, we can put a sensor here, and then somehow we gotta run that all the way over to a piston way out here. This seems overly complicated. Um, all right, let's just, this this fine though. It's fine. We don't really care. Perfect. And then that'll shove the whole thing out, and then we'll deal with sorting it into two piles later. Drops down, feeds in, product push. What? Oh shoot! I think the problem is we've got to weld it from over top, and let it just sort of flow continuously through. I think this whole. Okay, I think I think this whole welding it. And using the piston is the problem because the piston then jams the the line and doesn't allow the next piece to come through. I think this might might in fact fix the problem. I'm not entirely sure though. We'll uh, we'll have to see how this goes. All right, which means this one probably needs to come back quicker again. All right, this is a very inefficient process it seems, but that's okay. All right, we've got that falling in. Oh, they fall out of sequence. The the center ones come too quickly. Every second one is a fail. Uh oh, no, 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 I want to oh, oh. Don't fall off the- yeah, no, I am well aware of that, thanks. I tried to use my jetpack. Okay, so every second one is a fail. That's interesting. All right, so I think I figured out the issue. The problem was is that this block here, the sensor, you can see so we're pushing two products in and then it, it stops. And what's happening is when those pistons extend, they actually prevent the extra block from coming out. And so we actually have to sync this line of blocks with this line of blocks. Otherwise, this one just going straight onto a conveyor is actually, it's gaining speed every time. So it's actually pushing out more blocks. But with this piston here, this forces this one, you can see, to wait until these ones are ready. And now they're all coming out in pairs. And then we just got some extra timing stuff here, some extra little bits of conveyor. And this actually, I think, works without skipping, and it should create a product every time we just speed it up, see? So now that they're coming out in perfect pairs, it'll always weld each one, and we're not having one line of blocks that's producing faster than the other one. So it will slow us down a little bit, but I think that was the issue, is that these ones, see, without this, you'll see they just, they push a lot faster, right? These are all the excess blocks here. We should be good to go now, and then we just need to separate them, so all we're gonna do for that is just put a line of two blocks here, and then a sensor like so and so it'll push two product out and then one product will go this way 
like this and then the other one will go this way like this and then we should just be able to connect these up to our sensor and then we should be good to go so it's gonna weld them it won't be super efficient it's again it's gonna be a slow process but it should be okay so here we go so we got one paired welded paired welded separated paired welded separated paired welded of course we're not no that's good that's good we're not we're not even putting the product in the right spot okay so it's got to go i'm not very good at manipulating objects on a conveyor with uh when the objects are attached it's, it's i think it takes like the closest block on the object i'm not sure all right so this should be it then just wait for our products to come out here okay good stuff perfect push extend perfect make like a sweet remix out of this and then the uh the dubstep version or maybe not all right well that was pretty good a cycle score actually perfect cycles so that's good right on the low end footprint score and uh block score i was really bad with the blocks i think there's there's definitely better ways to do that one but overall pretty good took a little bit i don't know why it's called wave detection Oh, I see. That's what we're making. We're the two blocks with the piece in the middle is apparently a wave detection array. Okay, so we just have to do one more puzzle, the guided javelin, and then the performance review. So this should be pretty simple stuff, knowing what we know now. Okay, so we have to build a rocket. That is, that is exciting. Okay, so we have three, what is it, three blocks in the middle, a top piece, and a bottom piece. One, two, three, one, two. Okay, yeah, no, th those are right. Okay, so it's first step is going to be put this down. I think we just have to build it off this platform. Oh, another... Are you optimistic or are you pessimistic? Let's find out. Are you Chinese? Okay, so I, I, I believe this is just the same setup we did before. Uh, we just have conveyor going to a wall, uh, one in the middle with a sensor, and the one in the middle should be the one that triggers all of them like i i think that's what we do i'm pretty sure and then this will just rotate there and then this will take a little bit longer and it'll go there and then this one will go this way and we'll just kind of step that one down actually we can just we can just go down all the way here right and then that one actually that won't even be tall enough will it no, it won't. That's okay, though. We can just go this way, and we can actually just get this onto the same conveyor line as the other one. Oh, whoops. And, of course, we've got to connect everything. That would help. And put another block here. Like so. And connect, 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 connect. Whoops. So, I think this is it. And then this should separate the products, at least, into one, three, and one. And that way they all have the same delay. Oh, oh boy. Okay, it's a little a little quick. We'll slow down the cycle speed for this one. I'm sure there's a way to do it with a faster cycle speed, but let's just slow it down so that it's really easy because the principle's right here. It's just going a little too quick. Yeah, see, still too quick. So let's just slow this one down. We're not going to get the high cycle score. I'm sure one of you guys in the comments will tell me, oh, I did it with this score. That's the other thing, too. If you guys do play this game, you can always let me know what your scores are on the levels down in the comments down below. And I will gladly check them out. See that? That's perfect. No problem. And then we just got to get rid of this rocket. Uh, and so to do that, we're just going to weld. We just got to weld the whole thing together here. Whoops, that's not the button. Okay, uh, weld the whole thing. Weld, weld, please. Okay, so just like this, right? And then how do we, how do we get rid of it is the next question. Oh, I think I know. We'll just tie it into this same sensor. When that sensor triggers, it'll get rid of the old rocket. So yeah, so it's just a little bit quick. We can do this, and then we'll just put a uh, plunger guy here. And then one sensor will do it all, and then that way the rockets won't accidentally, you know, stack too much. This is this is definitely the way to do it uh, on a slower cycle speed. I, I don't know how we do this on a faster cycle speed. We'd have to... Okay, we should actually just be able to put this right to the end now. On a faster cycle speed, we'd probably have to do some 
weird sequencing thing. It's hard though, because we don't have any we don't have any logic gates yet. If we had like an AND gate, then we could put two sensors and say, okay, it's this sensor and that sensor, and they both have to be active. Oh, whoops, we can't we can't push that way. Because there's a there's a wall. Okay, well, that's that's fine, that's fine. These are just opportunities. Uh not really a big deal. Okay, we'll just do this. This is easy, easy mode, easy mode right here. Again, not if you want a high score, but uh we don't need a high score today. All right, here we go. And then this, just straight out like that. Problem solved. This should work great. I mean, we got one, two, three fuel tanks. Push. One, two, three. Wait for that. I push the rocket in the wrong direction, of course. All right, here we go. Boom. Boom. Three fuel tanks, one jet engine, one booster. Just like that. They all fall down. Perfect. This is great. And I'm pretty sure we can't speed up the cycles one, right? Because then it'll be just too quick. If we just fast forward here a little bit. I think it's just a little bit too quick. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay, so that's fine. We'll do it on three cycle rate. And uh, we should be good to go here. We should just be able to fast forward. Boom. Look at that. I'm sure the alien overlords aren't too happy that we didn't make it as quick as possible. You know what? That's okay. It's at least going to be successful. You know, it's very interesting. That's actually the low end of the cycles. I thought people were going to were gonna do it a lot faster than that, but I guess not. And uh, terrible footprint and terrible blocks. But, uh, you know, make sure you guys, if you do like this video, of course, let me know in the comment section down below. And uh, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, we're going to go over to the second performance review. Hello. <laughs> Your puzzles are too easy. Uh-huh. What? Oh, what it? Armpits of of iron with Dr. Seymour Pitts. Fantastic. No, that's that's What is this a DVD? It's a it's a VHS. You didn't even I don't even have a VHS player. What okay, thanks, man. And thanks for the dog food. Right, so flying through two sets of puzzles pretty quickly, we're now we have the test zone. Oh, I see. We can create our own experiments. That's cool. And uh, resource site 526.81. So I'm hoping these puzzles are getting a little bit more difficult. I'm assuming they will be. But uh, make sure you guys, of course, let me know what you think about this game in the comments down below. And uh, hit those buttons. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we'll see you all next time. I'm going to go watch this. This looks like a great movie.